a meningitis scare in our area. Details at 11. because usually that apple is red. <laughs> We've got a wonderful show for you tonight, and our special guests are Tony Roberts and Bernadette Peters. <laughs> so, yes, yes. We have 32 seniors here from Westminster, California. You have 32 seniors? Or <laughs> seniors? Yes, yes, from Westminster. And so, what's dirty about them? <laughs> They're okay. They're, they're just what? No, I'm really interested. Why uh, are they? Uh, I said we're 32 of 32. us. 32. <laughs> I'm all right. I thought you said you had two dirty seniors. And what she said was she had 32 seniors. I'm not well this evening, but it's very nice to see you. 32, all 32 of you are all too dirty of you. <laughs> from Bellarmine Jefferson High School, and I wondered if you had any advice for my drama students here. The drama students here? Well, first of all, graduate from school. That's real important. And then also have a second job. That's very important, too. You know. and, and the best of luck to you. Hang on to, hang on to those dreams. Yes? People used to be able to come up and give you a hug, and I've always wanted to be able to do that. Oh. Oh. say that I grew up watching your show and I love the quality of entertainment. I'm glad to see it back Thank on. You. And I also have something for Flowers. you. Flowers! How nice of you! I just said that I don't even give flowers to my lover. nighttime soap. What kind of role would you like? Oh, I would like to play a villainess. That's what I would. Uh, you dickens. <laughs> Kathleen, please stand up. Kathleen Noon, ladies and gentlemen. You know so why is the apple yellow? Why is the apple yellow? I, now I'll explain it to you, which is really... Have we got that jacket back there? Okay, I'll, I'll explain it to you. You see, this is Rhett Turner, who is our classroom designer. This jacket was made for this, and so then they painted the apple yellow so that I could wear the, Isn't that nice, Ava? Yeah. And it's got all the astrological signs on it. See? Like that. Isn't that but then we just decided that, you know, it wasn't that cold here on the stage, so we just come out like this. Thank you, Mr. T. You're Thank welcome. you. That's why we did that. Isn't that nice to have people paint an apple for you because you got a different colored jacket? That's the <laughs> Yes. Well, you got the kisses, you got the flowers, yes. you got the hugs. How would you like to go to dinner? It's <laughs> a great offer. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Your daughter Carrie's performance in a mother's job. What did she do? Uh, yes. My daughter Carrie was uh, Carrie was in 
a, a television movie with Meredith Baxter called A Mother's Justice, and she was terrific. And uh, she's here tonight. Carrie, stand up. Okay, we got a big show for you, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Have a cold yes i do here's two cold medicines this relieves these three symptoms this today Sweet 16th birthday, great grandma Stella. <laughs> and 116 more. <laughs> Come on, grandma. Make a wish and blow out the candles. Good, good. Only 115 more to go. Good. <laughs> Mom, what's wrong? What happened? What's, what's wrong with Dad? Nothing's wrong, dear. We weren't expecting you. Bob, huh? wake up. Look who's here. Uh, Bobby. Bobby's oh, here. Oh, nice of you to drop by, son. Well, you called and you said it was an emergency. Oh, you're just in time for dinner. I made your favorite tonight, sweetheart. Pork chops and sauerkraut. And I mix the peas and potatoes together just the way you like them. <laughs> okay, so what's the big emergency? Well, your mother wants to watch that damn Murphy Brown tonight. <laughs> Well, uh, see, there's a football game on the television. You would think so. with all the sports your father watches all weekend long, he could forget about one little Monday night football game. Oh, <laughs> Mom, night Mom, football. Dad, I canceled a date to come over here. For you this? A date? I'm sorry, honey. I just thought maybe your parents were a little more important than the date. <laughs> now, Joan, leave Dad, the boy alone now. Oh, well, now, who are you dating? Huh? You didn't tell me you were dating. Mom, I'm 30 years old. Well, no, you're 30 years old. Don't you think I know you're 30 years old? For heaven's sakes, I was there when you were born. I remember the pain and all that pushing. Joan, 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 leave the boy you alone. Know, honey, the boy shouldn't be dating. Bob, the boy should be married. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mom, leave him alone. I told you you shouldn't have called him. You did not. I did, Sweetheart, Joan. you said call Bobby because Bobby would be able to help us. Well, why don't you use the VCR that I bought you for Christmas and tape one of the shows? Uh, it's a waste of money, Bobby. I can't understand how to work that thing. Well, you didn't, 
you don't think it's a waste of money when you ask Bobby to come all the way over here all those times to tape your John Wayne movie? What about the soap operas, Joan? Oh, don't well, you know, look, one look, of those look, look, I have you know, showed you two how to program that VCR at least 20 times. Well, I know that, sweetheart, but I don't know. We just can't seem to get the hang of it, and it's always so much better when you do it. <laughs> Mom, Mom, stop, stop, stop. Now, look. I'll tape one of the shows while you're watching the one you want, and then you can watch the one that I tape. You can watch that later. Wait a minute. You can tape one show while you're watching another show? <laughs> yes, Dad. That's the point. You can watch the show you want, tape the other one, then watch that one that you tape later. How, how can you do that? I don't know how you can do it, Pop, but you can. So I got you the thing. So who's this girl you're seeing? <laughs> Her name is Debbie. Doesn't make any sense you can tape one show and watch another one. Well, you can, Dad, you can. Well, how come you haven't brought her over here? Because I like her. Now, which show do you want me to tape? Well, I guess, I know, you could tape your father's football well, game, then and then I can watch Murphy Brown. what am I going to do tonight, Joan? Brown, well, if you, you can watch Murphy Brown I'm not me. watching that big mouth woman. I, I, I don't, don't want to see that. Well, then maybe you could watch Major Dad. What the hell is Major Dad? Well, Major Dad is a TV show. I never heard of it. Well, that. it's about a military man, and he's a major and a dad, hence the title. Sounds stupid to me. Well, no. You two, please, please hurry up. Well, are you meeting up with that Darlene? Debbie. Debbie? Well, anyway, it's a Monday night. I mean, you shouldn't be going out on a Monday night. I am out, Mom. I'm here, aren't I? Oh, but sweetheart, this is your home. Would you like a glass of milk? Hey, you know, Mom, I do have my own home, okay? I have my uh, own kitchen. Or I can take my own food and cook it on my own stove. I even have my own TV, or I have my own VCR, and I can tape my own shows. Now, what show do you want me to tape? Well, all right, then. I guess what you can do is you can tape my Murphy Brown for me and then let your father watch his football game. I guess I can always knit if I have to. <laughs> Although, what I'd be knitting for, I don't know, seeing as how we don't have any grandchildren. Mom, you don't even want me to date. How am I going to have children? Oh, now that's true. I never said I didn't want you to date. Mom, you, you hate every girl I go out with. No, it's not true either. Yes. I like Marjorie. Yeah, see there? But I didn't like Marjorie. I hated Marjorie. She could bench press 250. <laughs> what does that mean, bench press I'll explain that to you later, Joan. <laughs> Not in front of the B-O-Y. B-O-Y? B-O-Y? Jeez, you know? Okay, Murphy Brown, 9 o'clock, Channel 2, set. Good night. Oh, sweetheart, do you think maybe it would be possible, since you're such a whiz at this, do you think you could also tape designing women for More me? More big mouth women, <laughs> Mom, you could tape whatever you want. Oh, could you tape Evening Shade, too? Yes, I could tape Evening Shade. Well, then shade. maybe what you could do is that you could tape Murphy Brown and Evening Shade, and then you could skip Major Dad and then tape the rest? I thought you said you wanted to watch Major Dad, Joe. Oh, Bob, I don't have to watch it. You usually it. watch it, don't you? Well, I, it's not because I like it. Why do you watch it if you don't like what it? What else am I gonna do with a half an hour? Okay, 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 I'll program it to tape Evening Shade, we'll skip Major Dad, and then we'll tape all the rest, okay? There. That That's it. Program a down there? Program. Well, don't you have to put a tape in oh, there? Oh, the, 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 so crazy. One. No, Joan, that's Gunga Din. That's my well, you've favorite. You've only seen it a hundred times. I Bob. never see it to the end because you interrupt. Your father does a great job with Fairbanks Jr. Just give me the tape, all right? And reprogram. Good night. Well, don't you have to have the television on Channel 2? <laughs> You don't have to have it on Channel 2. You just have to have it on the VCR. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. I know, son. You should sit down and relax. Why don't you just sit down here? And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to heat your food up in the microwave. So you have to press power start and then the temperature. Turn the power on. Is it, oh, is it safe to have the VCR and the microwave on at the same time? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, bring me a beer, will you, Joe? Oh, while you're out there. I want to talk to you about my snooze alarm, son. <laughs> push that thing yeah. in there. I slept through work oh, last dear, week. Dear, 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 oh, dear. You are. All right, sweetheart, and here's your dinner all nuked up for you. Can you pull this up for me? Because I get a cut. Isn't it nice?
when we have Bobby come over yeah. to have dinner. Yeah, it's very nice. All the here. <laughs> Watch the television now. That's for the garage door, John. <laughs> Next, John Denver heads to Montana for a brand new Christmas special with guests Clint Black, Patty Loveless, and Kathy Matea. It's John Denver's Montana Christmas Guys next. Everyone thought she was dead. Is she my sister or what? Is she? The spirit of Christmas comes to Sicily. P.S. I love you. Saturday on CBS. Ladies and gentlemen, my buddy Bernadette Peters.
wives can't stand silence. <laughs> At least, not the silence of husbands. They have to interpret what it means. That's because wives know what the silence of their husbands means. <laughs> You're mad. Make up for me. Yes, you are. Oh, I can tell you're mad. You're speaking to me, lamb cake. Harold, I know you too well. You're mad. You've made a mistake. When you get that look in your eye, you're mad. Well, I have no look in my eyes. I'm oh, mad. you are mad. I'm not mad. You're me. not fooling me a bit. You're mad. But I wasn't trying to fool you, Adrian. Let it out. Why not admit you're mad? Well, I have nothing to let out at all. Go ahead and tell me why you're mad. I have nothing to tell you, Adrian. I know. It's because of that file I lost on your computer. What? That's it, isn't it? Of course not. It is so. Well, I don't know what you're referring to. Well, it's because of the dinner party tomorrow at the Frawley's. All right, then I'll call the Frawley's. We don't have to go. No. No, Angel, I'm not. Why mad. not let it out and spend your money? I'm smiling. Stephen Harlow, go ahead. You're mad. I'm not mad. And now you're mad because I said you're mad. This is the most absurd and ridiculous conversation we've had in a long time, man. Oh, let's just drop it, Harold. Oh, now you're mad. Why not? Yes, you are. Oh, I can tell you're mad. Mm -mm. <laughs> Lois, I know you too well. You're mad. You don't know me at all. Be honest now. You can't deny you're mad. I do deny it. I'm not mad. You're mad. I'm not. You're not fooling me a bit. You're mad. I'm not trying to fool you. Let it out. Why not admit you're mad? I have nothing to admit. What's more, I can tell you why you're mad. Oh, this will be good. It's because of those two good tickets I lost to Phantom. I know it was stupid. We'll see it someday. Phantom? Because of those old LPs in the study I wanted to keep. All right, all right, all right. I'll throw them away. Michael Crawford's Phantom. Are you still mad? I never was. I guess you are. Read my lips. It's you who's mad. Who, who's mad? Who, who's mad? Me who's mad? Do you who's mad? Who, who's mad? You who's mad? Listen, you're, you're the, the one, one who's mad. mad. Okay, I'm mad. <laughs> All right now, Snookums, tell Mommy why you're mad. <laughs> special guests, Tony Roberts and Bernadette Peters. You know, <clears throat> there's one great disadvantage to the fact that people are learning that smoking isn't good for them. There is? Sure. When people smoke a lot, a uh, man could always offer an attractive woman a light, sort of as an opening gambit. Uh oh, I see. And here you are, stuck, without an opening gambit. Yes. Well, give me a second and I'll think of one. You're kind of slow on the uptake, aren't you? <laughs> How would you like it if I tried to pick you up? Yeah, okay, I think I'd like that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, um... Hi, 
I like your looks, and I'd like to get to know you better, so why don't we talk a while? Well, uh, all right, what do we talk about? Well, why not talk about whether or not you have a cozy little hideaway somewhere where just the two of us could go to be alone, away from all this noise and hubbub? <laughs> Well, that's a deal. <laughs> you know, I like that. <laughs> Was I uh, uh, too much of a pushover? No, I don't like coy preliminaries. <laughs> Neither do I. I, uh, I think I, I died and went to heaven. <laughs> well, you've just met a... 90s woman. Does that mean we're gonna have safe sex? What other kind is there? Well, hello. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> I'm Bill. No, 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 no. No last names. No last names. You see, tonight is all we have. Tonight is all we are. I don't think we should talk about where we're from, our financial brackets, our marital status, none of that. Those are the rules, because tonight, tonight we are just going to be two basics without any identity, and then, poof, farewell. Oh, you're incredible. I think so. All right, first names only. Mm -hmm. I'm Bill. Joanne. You know, I have fantasized about meeting a woman like you. Oh, you, you know, I practically rent out the bar stool in this dreary place. I've been praying and hoping I would run into a kindred spirit like you. Why haven't I seen you in here before? Well, I'm new in town. I just moved in from South Dakota. South Dakota? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, is that great? I'm from South Dakota. <laughs> of course, I got out of there as soon as I could. Uh, 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 no, wait a oh, you're right, you're right, you're Remember right. the rules? We're you're not going right. to talk about you're our You're right, past. and I set up the rules, and I got off the point. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. The point is, I have a large, spacious, luxurious apartment with a fireplace, and my wife doesn't move in for two <laughs> weeks. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. D didn't mean to mention my wife. Wipe, wipe that out. Oh, consider it white. <laughs> Bill, tonight... You have no wife. Well, this is fabulous. <laughs> I think so. I just adore fireplaces. Oh, bit of the cat in you? Like to stretch out in front of the fireplace with a saucer of milk? Try pan <laughs> Your eyes are fascinating. They've been compared to almonds. Did anyone ever tell you that the nape of your neck is very sexy? Well, with all due modesty, I have had compliments on my nape. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready for a long, leisurely evening. Oh, yes, am I ever. You see, my husband thinks I'm at a Tupperware party. Uh, 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 oh, uh, you're right. Uh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bringing up personal data again. Mm. Forget what I said. Let's just say, Bill, that... That I'm free as the wind, I'm ready for a trip to the moon on gossamer wings, and then goodbye, dear, and amen, and no strings. It's great to meet a woman who says no strings. <laughs> Only ever doesn't understand that. To her, a kiss is a commitment for life, well, you know? I think we have slid back on the subject of your wife. Oh, well, let's slide the other way. Let's <laughs> preserve this jungle magic we have found. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do have to giggle at that name, Henrietta. <laughs> oh, God. I pity your poor wife having to drag that around with her her whole life. <laughs> I, I always picture Henrietta as looking like a troll, you know. I, I guess it's because I have this dopey cousin named Henrietta. She's a drip of all drips. <laughs> life is an imponderable crazy quilt, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> Because my wife has a dopey cousin named Joanne. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yep. 
I haven't thought of poor old Henrietta in years. Of course, every so often I get a Christmas card from them, you know. Merry Christmas, Bill and Henrietta. <laughs> She, um, she lives in, in South Dakota, but she wrote that she was coming out here, to, moving here to live with her, her husband. Your name wouldn't be Brockton, would it? <laughs> Your name is, um, Simmons. Simpkins. 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 Uh, yes. You, uh, you have a little dachshund. I've I've seen its <laughs> I've seen its picture on your Christmas cards. It's, so it's you're... really cute the way you dress it up like an angel. You're Joanna Brockton, my wife's cousin. And you're Bill Simpkins. My mm. goodness, my cousin's husband. Well, a small world, it isn't it? Certainly is. It's tiny. Minuscule. Yeah, beansy, beansy. So. Yeah. How's Henrietta? Fine. Good. And, uh, your husband Tom, Tom isn't yes, it? He's just fine. Yes, indeed. You know, Henrietta and I were hoping you'd give us a cook's tour oh, of this town. We would love to. We'd love to, Bill. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the restaurants around here are fine. I, I'm not too familiar with this place. I just came in to get some matches. Well, I just came in to use the <laughs> Oh, well, right. uh, well, it uh, sure was nice seeing you. It's a hoop running into you like this. Uh, uh, look, I, I, I think just for the joke of it, you know, maybe we shouldn't mention to Henrietta and Tom that we uh, met before, yeah. you know, happened to run into That'll each other. That'll be a like swell it. joke. Yeah. Let's do it that way. Okay, great. Good and then night. Are you go maybe I'll use the men's room. Good idea. Thank you. In the next 30 seconds, you will lose half... Blake Yoakum stars in an explosive P.S. I Love You. You're not concerned that Cody might get hurt? Oh, my hero. I thought I had a rough night. Saturday, Jessica uncovers an international hit... Yeah, honey, yeah. No, it's okay. I can cover for you. Yeah, you know, you just take care of yourself. Yeah, right. Drink plenty of liquids and get a lot of bed rest. No, it's okay. Yeah. Bye. Hey, guys, I got some bad news for you. What? On account of our waitress soprano, Gloria is sick. Tonight, we're not going to be able to present our salute to Sondheim. Oh, no! No, no I changed my whole route so I could look, see I it. No, no, look. Harry and I, we could give you, huh, a condensed version of Shakespeare or a second vegetable. Second vegetable. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I have a flat tire. Is there a phone I could use? Where is that Peters? Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Phone? Of course. Where is it? It's over here, Miss Peters. It's over here. It's on the wall. Oh, great. Oh, see, see that Bernadette Peters? Bernadette Peters. She is gorgeous. You see the way she's put together? She ain't that hot, Harry. So you know where this diner is? And you're going to send me a tow truck? Okay. All right, I'll be waiting here. Thanks. Sit down over here, Miss Peters. Is there anything I can get you? Want some coffee? Yeah, sure, that'd be nice. Coffee. How about a piece of pie? We got great pie. All right, pie, pie, pie. Excuse me. 
Can yeah. I just shake the hand of a Tony Award winner and four-time nominee? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but uh, I think I was only nominated three times. Although I practically collaborated on Into the Woods. Oh, yeah, that was great. But you know what it was for? I'm serious, because it was On the Town, Sunday in the Park, um, Song and Dance, which you won. Congratulations. And, um, um, hey, guys, what was the show that Bernadette did between Tartuffe and Sally and Marsha? What, are you kidding? Everybody knows that. Mac and Mabel. I guess you're right. What time? She's something, ain't she, Rose? I never realized she was so short and squat. Rose, I got a great idea. What? We get Bernadette to do the show and uh, take Gloria's place and then we don't have to... see you're nuts! Or what, a Broadway star like that? That highfalutin kind of a person? She ain't gonna do that. Oh, Rose. Yeah. Get rid of that, will you? <laughs> Excuse me, will you? Yeah. Miss Peters, can I ask you a favor? I... Uh, okay. We, uh... We here at uh, I-90, we made a commitment to bring uh, musical theater to America's interstate highway system. <laughs> you follow? I guess. Yeah, well, we were supposed to do a tribute to Sondheim tonight, and our second waitress, Gloria, got sick, and, well, you're a natural choice because there's so much sa sa son Sondheim in your repertoire. <laughs> Well, do you think maybe you'd help us out? Uh, yeah, yeah, what, what do you think? Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I've never performed in a diner before. I don't usually do that. How could I say no with the Theater World Award? Okay, come on. Hey, it's hey. hey Rose, Bernadette's gonna do glorious part. Fellas, the show is back on! Hey. Now, be careful of the key change here in 33. 33. Yeah, you follow me for the choreography. Now, uh, G Gloria's part wasn't too big, so if you screw up, nobody's going to notice. Okay. Hit it, Spike. <laughs> the I-90 Diner. The I-90 Diner proudly presents the salute to Stephen Sondheim. Those of us who love Sondheim love every song that he wrote. We are suckers for every Sondheim score, every rhyme and every of us who love Sondheim think he's a musical god. We look forward to the day we do every hit from Sweeney Todd. Okay, Bernadette. Yeah, you know, don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight as an appetizer before we serve your steak Chicken fries. There's time for a short, short order. A taste. A tidbit. A song. A song I'm on the side. Side by side. By side. Or <laughs> hearts in a storm, comfy and cozy. Side by side. By side. <laughs> and oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop the music, Spike. Dana, <laughs> what? Hit it, Spike. Hey. <laughs> Isn't it warm? Isn't it rosy? Side by side. Everything's fine. 
Everything shines. How sweet. Shine by shine. By side. Parallel lines. To me. Shine by shine. By side. Everyone winks. Nobody's nosy. A wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. A 
boy befriends a homeless man and learns the true meaning of Christmas. Fred Savage of the Wonder Years stars with Hume Cronin in Christmas on Division Street, a special Christmas story. Watch it with your family Sunday on CBS. Now get ready for John Denver's Montana Christmas Skies next.